Okay, so today we are looking at some of the big compromises between some of the northern and southern states leading up to the Civil War. So nobody wanted a Civil War. They weren't looking forward to fighting each other. So different things happened um, throughout the 50-year period leading up to the war where um, states kind of came to agreements and figured out um, how we can avoid this. Now, obviously, it doesn't work because eventually there is a war. But what we're going to do today, guys, is a little bit different in the sense that I'm asking you to make sure that you do this in the correct order. So what you're going to see is a PowerPoint slide attached to the assignment. So when you open it, um, the first thing you're going to see is just a picture that shows some slave density um, in the southern states. So when you go ahead and look at that, you can pause me if you want till you find it. Um, but you can just look the darker the color red or orange, the more slaves living in that particular uh, region of that state. This has nothing to do with the actual assignment. Um, I just like to show it to kids um, just to have them kind of realize that, you know, it was not equally distributed throughout the South, um, that there were some um, areas, for example, like South Carolina um, and some parts of Virginia where there was a lot more slaves than in other regions of the South. So anyway, if you skip on to the next um, slide in there, you will see um, a map, it looks like this one, um, and it is of the Compromise of 1820. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at the map, study it as much as you can, um, and then on the um, slide that goes with it, you are going to look under um, Missouri Compromise of 1820. Um, you're going to look at the Missouri Compromise box and where it says, uh, my inference based on this map. So this box right here, you're going to fill in without reading anything, just looking at the map. What do I think this compromise is about? Okay. Now, the good news is you can be completely wrong. Okay. As long as it's an educated guess and you're not saying some ridiculous thing, I am okay with you giving me any kind of guess here. Okay. You might want to say, I think that this act said that, you know, Indians could live in Michigan as long as the Arkansas Territory went to Florida. Okay, no, that's completely ridiculous, but you have made an educated guess based on something that you see on the map, okay? When you are done with that, you're going to want to move to the next slide, and there it gives you an actual description of what the compromise was all about. So then what you do is, in the box right below it, here in this case, you tell me summarize what that what that is okay so when you're done um, you're gonna have the your guess and what it actually said and then you do the same thing for the compromise of 1850 your guess looking just at the map and then tell me what it actually said and then finally in the Kansas Nebraska Act what do you think it means and then what did it what did it actually say guys usually there are kids who sometimes will get maybe fractions of these right but I don't know if I've ever had a student that has just completely guessed the correct answer. So don't worry about it um, for that top, for the top row, right? The bottom row should all be accurate information because there's a description of each one um, on the next slide. Don't forget, guys, at the very, very bottom, there is a little timeline, okay? And the reason why that's there is I actually teach this out of order. I like to teach all the compromises together and not necessarily as they happen throughout history. So what I've done at the bottom is I just want to give you context as to where it happens. So make sure you just fill this out, right? The year and the description of each one where there's a blank there. And then submit it and you will be all set. Once again, guys, if you have any questions, um, you can go ahead and email me or ask me on the big blue button.